Hello all, I bring a good news to you all. India is set to launch its first space station by the year 2035 and the first Indian on the moon by the year 2040. Now we are going to talk about it from the perspective of your UPSC prelims as well as from the perspective of GS Mains paper third because there are certain challenges in launching a sovereign space station. Do not make notes because I provide it on my telegram channel by the name of Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, please talk to me on my Instagram and follow me on my threads. Now, while the Prime Minister was sharing a high-level meeting on the progress of the Gaganyan project, he suggested to the Department of Space to aim to launch a Bhartiya Antrik station by the year 2035 and also send an Indian to the moon in the year 2040. Now, there will be plans in accordance that will be made. Now, this is something that was supposed to be there. Why? Because India has shown its technological prowess in not only launching the Chandrayaan 3, but also landing it correctly on the moon, where, where we want it, on the South Pole. Now, we are going for Gaganyaan, which is a crewed space mission. It will take three people to the, uh, to the orbits above the Earth's atmosphere in space specifically make them stay there, specifically low earth orbit, make them stay there for three days and bring them back. When this amount of technological progression takes place, similarly, on that we have to premise the next mission, which is a space station by the year 2035 and a man on the moon, Indian on the moon, it could be a woman as well. If it's a woman, then great. So it could be by the year 2040. Okay, so this is something that Department of Space will keep in mind from now onwards. So the Department of Space will develop a roadmap for moon exploration. It will, of course, comprise of many Chandrayaan missions. Of course, after this, we know the next Chandrayaan, Chandrayaan 4, is supposed to bring back samples from the moon so that we can study what kind of uh, soil capacities exist there. Other than this, the development of next generation launch vehicle and construction of a new launch pad is also very important because Sri Harikota has to have its load reduced. It is also looking for places in the South region, the Department of Space. So that will also happen. Setting up a human-centric laboratory and associated technology because the impacts of space on the human body is a lot. So how to test that on Earth, that kind of laboratory will also be there. Now what does it need? Budget, money. Moving on. The International Space Station started operating in the year 2000. A space station is a habitable artificial station that is generally put in the low earth orbit at an average altitude of 400 kilometers above the earth. And from there, it is used to study many scientific experiments. And the International Space Station was launched with the collaboration of five space agencies, NASA, European Space Agency, Canadian Space Agency, Japanese Space Agency, and Russia's Roscosmos. By the year 2024, it will cease to operate. And accordingly, by the year 2031, studies suggest that it will fall off from its orbit and it will dive into the Southern Pacific Ocean. And right now, it is here in the low Earth orbit. So when it will dive into the Southern Pacific Ocean, it will be put to Point Nemo. Point Nemo is like a graveyard for defunct satellites. Okay, moving on. Because of this issue, that it will cease to operate. Now countries are running for their own sovereign space station. It can be used to resource map and also surveillance. To study Earth's weather, land form, vegetation, oceans and atmosphere, a space station helps a lot. It is crucial for research and collection of scientific data. Space tourism and space flights are also in vogue nowadays. Many space agencies are looking for space tourism and earning a lot amount of money and people are ready to pay for it. Countries, it is also from the strategic perspective, it is country's eye from the sky. It can help India monitor friends and foes alike. Also, it has immense military application. On the basis of this as well, this space station, any space station is being criticized. Now, in 2018, the many achievements of International Space Station and why should India have its own Bharti Antrik station? Because in 2019, NASA's cold atom lab became the first facility to produce a fifth state of matter in space. That was the Bose-Einstein condensate. In 2016, NASA astronauts sequenced DNA in space for the very first time. And over 200 astronauts from 19 countries have been carried in space so far. 
so as a, as an achievement for the entire humanity it is important that we have our own space stations as well it will increase the goodwill space goodwill of india among many countries and india can get a lot of investment thereafter now china russia more recently india have their own plans of having their own space station we have bharatiya antariksh station station because we cannot call it indian space station it will become like iss okay like the international space station so the kremlin has of course said that it will terminate its association with the iss by 2024 that means it will have its own space station and it will be launched by the year 2025 then china has also made considerable progress in making its space station tiangong habitable and operational for 10 years and until may 2023 it will do it which will further its goal china's manned space program started in the year 1992 to construct china space station to accommodate long term manned utilization on a large scale so china is doing why shouldn't india also we have a lot of challenges in our hand we have decided to have our own space station but what about the budget currently if we talk about it the nasa incurs 3 billion annually to just maintain the international space station how will india manage it the budget is very grim for isro we know that also construction and maintenance is the biggest problem then technological capabilities have to be ramped up significantly we need more collaboration with countries such as russia now do you know that after the termination of this pact the kremlin has said we are not going to be a part of the i international space station anymore it has a lot of technological role that russia plays it does course correction whenever international space stations it moves away from the correct course it is criminal uh, in russia that does course correction putting it back on the correct place then it also has a role in ferrying astronauts back and forth from the earth to the iss that is why we do not we cannot only have a collaboration with ourselves only we have to collaborate with other people other countries as well now finally the race to space has been critiqued on many the grounds what about space debris and the weaponization and militarization of space so these are the certain things other thing is that why did we stop sending man on the moon because the kind of cost that it had training rehabilitation uh, you know the building of such kind of rockets these all are the things that india needs to take care of now you have to tell me in the comment segment this is kind of a prelims question a short one where is point nemo situated you have to tell me in the comment box thank you so much for watching stay updated